this video I'm going to be talking to you about the parts of a chart. I've been in astrology for many years and I've helped thousands of clients in my practice. I've taught lots of people and I enjoy sharing my astrological knowledge. My goal is to make it astrology accessible to everyone and if you can understand a little bit more about how to read a chart it's going to benefit you. So in astrology there are four main parts to a chart. These are what I also like to call the building blocks of astrology. We have the signs, the planets, the houses and the aspects and I'm going to be going through those with you right now. So the first thing you learn about when you come to astrology is the signs. You know you're a Virgo, she's a Gemini, I'm a Libra and signs are what bring people to astrology in the first place and that is the signs are symbolized by the blue outer wheel. So when you're looking at a chart, the outer circle has all the signs in it. And each of these little symbols here are called glyphs, and they are the glyphs for each sign. As you go around, you can see all the blue are the signs. That's the first circle. That's the first part of a chart. Moving one circle in, we then have the planets there in red. In this particular case, I've drawn them in red so you can see them. And this is inside the signs. So these are planets, the moon, Venus, and all these red symbols or glyphs, they are the planets in the signs. So if you have the sun in Leo, the sun will be in Leo. This is the sign for Leo, and here's the symbol for the sun. And all the other planets can be in any sign in a chart. So typically for astrology, we refer to 10 planets because we do count the sun and moon. I know, that's one of the things, but the idea is that the planets are on the second circle coming in. It's like coming in on a kaleidoscope. You're coming in like this. You're coming from signs into planets. It also can be referred to as if you're going out to eat for dinner and you've got three forks here and three knives there. You start from the outside and you work your way into the knowledge. So on the outer ring, we've got the signs. The second ring, we have the planets. So third up are the houses. The houses I've drawn here in green. There are 12 houses and they are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the green houses always flow in this particular arrangement. The first house is always in this position, 2, 3, and it goes anti-clockwise around the chart. There are 12 houses. And the houses are the third circle moving inwards because we have signs, planets, and now we've got houses. And then the fourth building block, the fourth and final building block, is the aspects. That is in the central circle of a chart, and there will be lines going here and going there, and when you see your chart, each chart will be different, there'll be different lines going here, a line going there, different coloured lines as well, they're not always black, I've just symbolised them in black on this diagram. So what you have is, you've got the signs, the planets, the houses, and the aspects. They are the four main parts to a chart, they are the four building blocks to a chart, and they're the four things you really need to learn. But, if you're going to be doing more about astrology, start on the outer ring, learn about the signs, learn about the planets, learn about the houses, and then learn about the aspects. And this is how knowledge is gained. So there it is, they are the four main parts, the four parts to a chart. They're referred to as the four building blocks of astrology. And when you're learning astrology, you, you really do need to understand what they are. But if you're just going to read your chart casually, say you pulled your chart from one of the online astrology sites and you have it in front of you, it can be confusing. There are many things going on at once, but once you can see clearly what you're looking at, it is so much easier. I'd like to thank everyone who supported me in the making of this video. I could not have done it without you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy my videos, please do subscribe, like and share with anyone who will benefit. So let's have a look at what do astrologers do all day out and about in the city.